Hi there, <clears throat> back again for part two. This is my um, effort to bring some truth and facts into the world and hopefully protect others while unburdening some of the toxicity that is within me. Um, the infamous Los Angeles incident with Aaron Smith Levin that happened toward the end of May of last year, where he engaged in a relationship again with a woman who had reached out to the Aftermath Foundation for help. And rather than giving her help, he used her as a um, sexual conquest to have a drug and sex encounter with her while he was in LA. Uh, rather bizarrely, he was staying in a room that had been arranged for him by the Masterson Jane Doe One victim. Um, the video that came out at the time was quite scary. Um, the subsequent video that came out showing how she pushed, how he pushed the woman into a concrete wall was even scarier. Aaron's reaction to that was to be upset that nobody from the foundation had contacted him to find out if he was okay. It was the final straw and all the members of the board asked Aaron to voluntarily resign. That this was not a circumstance that we could continue to operate on. We were worried about whatever the next thing might be. It could be worse. And he agreed at that point to resign, but begged us to give him six months of leeway so that nobody would be able to connect his departure from the aftermath board to the incident that had happened in LA. We agreed to give him a grace period of three months and that we would not say anything or do anything in that time that would um, in any way damage his reputation. At some point along the line, Aaron then started saying that what hurt him so much about this whole thing was that apparently one of his best friends in the whole world had as a dying wish that he be destroyed. I'm just going to tell you the only reason that I, and I assume the other people too, wanted him off the board was to protect the Aftermath Foundation. It was not a vindictive act toward Aaron. It was an act to attempt to protect the foundation and its good name and reputation. Aaron became increasingly abusive toward Claire Headley, Amy Scooby, 
in Christie. And this was another thing that was intolerable to me. Shortly after agreeing to step down in three months, like a few few days after that happened, Aaron then did an unsolicited fundraising campaign for my cancer. He based the information that he used in that campaign on a private text that was not even directed to him. But nevertheless, he did that in order to try and carry favor with me and the rest of the board. And I must say, I was very appreciative of what he had done. I was very appreciative of the outpouring of love and support for people. But it wasn't done with a pure motive. It was done to try to influence how we all felt about Aaron. And it it saddens me to know that that was actually what was going on. Um, Christy and I were as gracious as we could possibly be in response. We tried to thank every single person who helped. I was in not in a good shape right at that moment. Christy did a post on my blog thanking Aaron, but he later complained that I never called him and thanked him for having done that. That's really all I'm going to do in this part. Uh, next part coming up shortly. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to do so.